Yeah, obviously, um, you know, more often than not, when you dominate a game like that, especially the second half, you'd like to think you'll come away with three points, um, at the very least one. So, obviously, to come away with nothing it was disappointing. But um, on the positives, I'm very happy with the reaction once we won the goal down. You know, we had a lot of debutants and a lot of new players, and it might have been easy for them when they got got a setback, you know, to put the heads down and sort of struggle through the rest of the game. But the response was was very good and you know we were, we were unfortunate with with lots of efforts but um first half probably first game of the season nerves and we lacked a little bit of composure and quality just to settle the game down and and wrestle it in our favor so first half was probably a little bit disappointing but um, second half the response after going a goal down early it uh, was was very pleasing it was a sloppy goal uh, we've spoken about it but as you say, it was, it's bravery as well to try and get on the ball in, um, in in deep areas, you know, under a bit of pressure. Just probably need to manage the game and manage the situation a little bit better. But uh, as you said, after that, the response from Robbie and, and all the players was was very good and very encouraging. It would have been easy for, for Robbie and a lot of the others to sort of go under a little bit, conceding such a sloppy goal and, and uh, suffering a setback. But they stood up and were brave and kept trying to get on the ball and make things happen. And, you know, that's another demand uh, we have on them, aside from work rate and that they need to be brave and always need to be making angles for their teammates and making it easy for, for their teammates to find a pass and, as I said, go and express themselves. Everyone's going to make mistakes. We're not going to jump down the throat of people trying to get on the ball and making mistakes, but um, what we will jump down their throat is if they shirk responsibility after that. And, as I said, going back to the work rate and application, that's when we will get on them if we, if we feel as if they're not given that. And I couldn't have any of them complaints on Friday night. I want to play winning football, I suppose you call it, but, uh, you know, I want fans, first and foremost, to be coming down, knowing, guaranteed, that they're going to get a proper shift from their team. Uh, that's first and foremost, that's a prerequisite. That's to, what's going to be demanded of them, is that they give everything in the pursuit of making St. Pat successful and, and getting three points. And I want, to, I want to entertain people, I want fans to come excited by what they're going to see and I want them specifically seeing attacking players go and express themselves. Um, and you marry that in with a proper work rate, you know, you should give yourself good chances uh, week in, week out. Whenever we're playing at Richmond, we're, we're going to want to dominate the ball and any time you sort of have 66% possession and, and 19 shots on goal, um, you'd like to think you'll be coming away on the right side of the result more often than not. So. It's just about converting them opportunities, you know, when we are so dominant, um, you got to convert them opportunities and, and I suppose especially you don't give away such a soft goal and um, give a team something to cling on to, you know. I felt there was the, a stick-on penalty, I felt the ref was the only man in, in the building that, that felt it wasn't a penalty, you know, I think Waterford even admitted they could count themselves fortunate and, you know, it's frustrating, you'd like to think these things will even themselves out, but it would have been a, 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 an ample time to get the penalty. There was still a lot of time left on the clock and you'd feel if we'd got the equaliser, we could have kicked on and won the game. It's a busy week in the sense we play Friday, Monday, Friday. So first and foremost, we have Sligo away. Um, always a tough place to go, Sligo. Uh, you get nothing easy, so we're really looking forward to that. And then you're wheeling to sort of two more games in the space of a week. So it's going to be a very busy schedule. So. It's important to get a good platform and a good structure within the week and get a good training week leading into that because there won't be much training done, I suppose, between game Friday, game Monday and then game Friday. It'll be sort of a lot of recovery in between games. I am enjoying it, yeah. It's a lot different from playing, uh, a lot busier. When you're playing, you only have to look after yourself, uh, make sure your body's in decent condition to be wheeled out on a Friday and playing. Um, but uh, you're, I suppose you're overseeing a lot of different things. A lot of small stuff and little detail that, that people wouldn't even think of, but on the whole I, I'm enjoying it and the application and the work rate of the players since I've come in, since the start of pre-season and forwards and now has been brilliant, so I'm really enjoying that side of it, working with players and, and I suppose my job ultimately is, aside from results and winning games, is to make individuals better and, and improve individuals and improve the team and that's what I really get a kick out of, that's what the coaches have to get a kick out of is um, seeing players sort of blossom and improve week on week.